This video is available in English and Hindi. Namaskar. Welcome back to your channel Simplify Your Space. Deepavali brings happiness, light and cleanliness to our lives. It presents great opportunity to reset our homes and infuse new freshness to our daily routines. On a personal level, Deepavali is the time I look forward to shifting my focus to clean and organize those areas that typically need my attention only once or twice a year. Before starting, I would like to thank our video partner for today, Max Life. Now, let's get started. One of the crucial Deepavali cleaning tasks is cleaning the tops of the cabinets, where a lot of grease and grime can accumulate over the years. To make this cleaning easier, I always lay newspaper or mat on top of the cabinets to protect them from sticky dust. When I remove these, I find that the cabinets are usually clean and just need a quick wipe. This practice drastically reduces cleaning efforts and minimizes chances of any fall or accidents during deep cleanings. Similarly, covering the large appliances top will ease the cleaning efforts. The mats can be washed in the sink and put back in place. Deepavali is the perfect time to take stock of annual paperwork. Just as we clean and organize our homes, it is essential to tidy up our documents too. Don't forget to review your insurance policies including term and medical insurances and check their renewal status. Often our busy lives keep us from revisiting these documents throughout the year. Since major cleaning and organizing at my home happens around Deepavali, I club my documentation as well at this time. Today more and more women are actively contributing to the family's finances and sharing equal responsibilities. Do you know that women can pay 18% lesser premium than men? With Max Life women can get a 1 crore life cover at just Rs 654 per month. Also a 1 crore life cover plus 5 lakh critical illness cover it at just Rs 737 per month. Not just that, you can save taxes on the premium you pay. A housewife is as important as an earning member of the family and her absence will create the same impact. Hence term insurance becomes extremely crucial for housewives as well. Max Life Term Insurance can easily be bought by housewives without submitting their husband's income proof. Ensure accurate declarations when buying insurance and carefully review policy details including exclusion. Thorough scrutiny ensures your insurance serves its intended purpose. So don't let anything stop you from getting your financial independence. Calculate your premium from the link in the description box below. My next important deep cleaning task is to wash all the curtains and replace them with the clean ones. I have some heavy curtains that I have used for nearly 5 years and they require dry cleaning so I have already had them cleaned. Now I will use them in the master bedroom. The cotton curtains here can be machine washed. For washing, I always check the label for instructions. I tie the curtain eyelets together to prevent damage to the washing machine and for that you can use a lace or handkerchief.
following the label, I use 40 degree water with normal detergent and run the cycle on medium RPM. In the guest room, I have polyester curtains that can't go in the washing machine. As per label, I will wash them by soaking them in detergent water mix. After washing, I let them air dry and iron them. Since I have changed the curtains for this season, I will pack the wash curtains in bags and store them safely for the summer. Next up is the bed. Pillows need to be washed every 6 months due to the accumulation of sweat and potential stains. Pillows with synthetic fillings such as polyester or microfiber are generally safe to put in the washing machine but not cotton filling. Always check the label for guidance. I am placing these pillows in the washing machine with gentle detergent liquid and borax for some brightening. After washing, I will lay them flat to dry. It is also important to clean the mattress which can gather germs and dust over time. For that, I will sprinkle some baking soda, leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then vacuum it to refresh and clean the mattress. I will also clean the base of the bed where dust and hair strands accumulate. Vacuuming it and then wiping down the bed with a damp cloth. Most households deep clean the kitchen during the Pavali. However, due to my monthly kitchen cleaning routine and recent pantry and refrigerator cleaning, I don't need to deep clean the entire kitchen. What I really want to focus on are these pull-out drawers or trolleys. Dust and food particles tend to accumulate at the back which can be challenging to clean. These type of drawers should be removed to clean the back properly, but putting them back can be tricky. An easier way is to pull the attachment on the sides and pull the drawer out partially and then clean the backside with a vacuum cleaner or long duster. Removing the tandem drawer is a straightforward process. On both sides at the bottom, you will find an attachment. Simply press these attachments simultaneously while pulling the drawer and it will come out effortlessly. This makes cleaning the interior much more convenient. Putting it back is just as easy. Place the drawer back into the side channels and push it inside. It will automatically snap into place. Avoid removing the drawer if you are unsure about reassembling it or seek help if needed. A few days ago, a packet of papad fell from the drawer of the pantry unit. And we were unaware until insects infested the area. Hence, it is essential to know how to remove and clean these drawers. The shoe rack is an area we use almost every day and it accumulates a lot of outside dust, dirt and mud making it stinky and dirty. I always place plastic mats here to keep the shelves protected from stains and dust and it gets very easy for me to clean the shelves by just removing these mats. They just need a bit of washing or I can just wipe them with the cloth. Alternatively, one can use newspaper as well. It is important for me to target this area during Diwali cleaning so that I have a nice refreshing shoe rack ready for the next 6 to 8 months until I deep clean it again. It is also a great time for me to purge and discard torn, unused or uncomfortable shoes so that I have more space.
Cleaning crockery and glassware kept in storage is crucial as they accumulate dust and lose their shine. Last week I cleaned the crockery and this week I like to focus on glassware so that these beautiful pieces are ready to serve guests during Diwali visits. It is important because unexpected guests may arrive and there might not be time for cleaning at that moment. I have a dishwasher which makes it easy to clean a good amount of glasses at once leaving them sparkling clean and dry. If you don't have a dishwasher you can wash the glasses normally and then give them a steam treatment by holding them just above boiling water. The steam helps remove germs and the cloudiness that can develop over time due to infrequent use. So it is essential to clean them in advance. I've also cleaned the glass unit and placed everything back. During deep cleaning sessions, I make sure to clean my furniture thoroughly but it is easy to forget about the areas underneath where dust and sometimes even cobwebs can accumulate. So I make it a point to place them upside down and clean them thoroughly from the inside as well. This helps ensure that every part of my furniture is clean and dust free. No matter how much we deep clean and scrub our bathrooms to make them shine, if the glass partitions have accumulated soap residue, it can make the bathroom look unclean and unpleasant. To clean these stains, just mix 1 cup of water, 1 cup of vinegar and 4 spoons of dish liquid. Then transfer the solution into a spray bottle. Now spray the solution all over the glass partition and leave it for 5 minutes. Next take an old soft green scrub pad, not the new one and gently and thoroughly scrub the area. Afterward rinse it with clean water, remove the excess water using a squeegee and finally wipe the glass with a soft microfiber cloth or newspaper. Now you can easily see the difference in both the glasses. This simple process easily removes soap residues and leaves the bathroom looking shiny and sparkling clean. And there you have it, a clean and sparkling home just in time for Diwali. I hope you found this video helpful and that it makes your deep cleaning session a breeze. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Now see you all next week. Bye bye.